What's up, everybody? I got these two pretty popular um, Zippo butane inserts that I'm going to compare for you guys. Uh, the first one is this Thunderbird butane insert, and the second one is this Z Plus butane insert. Now, before I uh, open these up and take a look at them, I'm going to talk a little bit about why you'd want to get one of these. Now, the first reason being is that a lot of people don't like the smell of the Zippo lighter fluid. It's just not a very pleasant smell for them. I don't really mind it, but a lot of people don't like it. Uh, the second reason is that you ever fill a Zippo lighter and then you put it in its case, close it up, and then you put it in your pocket, and next thing you know you reach into your pocket and it's filled with lighter fluid. Yeah, it's very annoying. Um, so if you tend to overfill it or you know it's laying on its side like this some of it could leak out and the third reason is that um, it's not a perfect seal so the lighter fluid will actually evaporate out of there so if you fill a, um, a Zippo lighter with lighter fluid and then just let it sit there for about two weeks without even using it you come back and you try to light it actually it will be dry so it's not a good seal and it will evaporate out of there now the last reason and this is the reason why I got these is that I like smoking cigars and um, the Zippo lighter fluid contains a lot of chemicals and uh, produces some vapors that could taint the cigar so you don't want to use a Zippo lighter to light a cigar. Now the butane um, lighter fluid is it's a, um, a clean burning uh, lighter fluid so it's better to use butane uh, lighter fluid for lighting cigars. Um, let's see anything else? So the biggest difference between these two is that this one right here is a soft flame which I prefer to use. Um, it's a soft flame type of lighter and this one is a uh, torch style um, lighter or lighter insert. So I'll go over that um, in a little bit when I open these up. So let's, um, let's take a look at the Thunderbird first. This one right here was uh, I believe $13. Not very expensive. Very simple to open up, this back piece just comes out. It's got the little uh, instructions. And there you go. Let me focus in on that. Oh, doesn't want to focus. There we go. So it actually looks like a, a normal Zippo insert. Um, oh, it's got a pretty stiff cam. Very nice. It actually comes, I believe it comes a little bit pre-filled. Let's see if we can light it. There we go. So yeah, it looks like a, the flame just looks like a regular Zippo lighter flame. It's a soft flame. Let's see how it looks inside of the Zippo. Inside the lighter. It's very well. Now let's uh, let's see if the click sounds similar. Yeah, that that actually sounds very good. That sounds great. Sounds like an original Zippo uh, should sound. And the flame looks good too. So I'm actually going to use both of these. Um, inserts, the Soft Flame and the Z Plus. I didn't get them just to compare the two. I'm actually going to use both and I'll tell you why. Um, I actually prefer lighting cigars with the Soft Flame. It's better for toasting them um, and it's just a, I feel like a better overall smoking experience. But if it's a windy day then it'll make lighting your cigar almost impossible with this lighter because with this insert. 
because even though the flame is still windproof, um, it'll dance around on you in the wind, which will, you know, it'll make lighting the cigar very hard, which is why you want a, um, if it's a windy day, you want more of a torch style um, lighter. And I kind of wanted both also. I wanted a, a soft flame style and a torch style. So this one I'm actually really happy with. It's very nice. Sounds really good. I didn't think it was going to sound this good. It's actually in there very tight. Now to fill it, let me see if I can focus in on this. Nope, didn't want to. There we go. So over here you have your little spot to fill the, the insert with butane fluid. Um, here you adjust the flame height and this right here is to change out the flint. So very similar to a, uh, a regular Zippo insert but instead of the felt pad um, you have this little nozzle right here to fill it with butane fluid and then to adjust the flame. So yeah there we go this is the Thunderbird insert definitely very happy with it I'm gonna definitely be using this one important disclaimer that I forgot to mention about the uh, the Thunderbird insert is that it's got a little lever right here I don't know if you can see that underneath the cam that when it's pressed down like this and the, the cam is in the closed position it closes the valve in there so that the butane gas doesn't come out now when it's open when the cam is open see this lever comes up so now the gas is free to come out so when you light it it uh, ignites it so I made the mistake of uh, leaving this open and all the butane gas just leaked out so make sure that you close it like this when you're not using it that way it keeps the, the butane inside so in the Zippo lighter inside the case your Zippo's open like this, the gas is actually coming out. When it's closed, then the gas is sealed in. Right now it's coming out. You can light it. So what happens is, if you close this right now, you can't light it. You open it, you can light it. So just something to think about. Um, definitely have to be conscious about how often you, you know, if you're doing, if you're playing around with your Zippo lighter, you know, how often you kind of open it and close it because when you are opening it, the gas is coming out right now when you're using this uh, Thunderbird insert. So now let's check out the Z Plus. Let me zoom out a little bit. This one comes in a little bit more of a rugged packaging. And I use some scissors to cut this open. There we go. Let me uh, focus in on this. There we go. So here we go. Very similar style cam. Very similar in the bottom too. You got the um, the nozzle for the to fill it with butane fluid, and you got the little um, little thing here to adjust the uh, the flame size. No spot for a flint because it has no flint. So let's put this in the case and check it out. Now this one right here, I can tell right away is a very tight fit. I don't think I like how tight this is. Uh, let me take this out from back. It's a very thick insert. Let's try that again. Uh, 
Well, I think that's as far as I'm going to get it. But it closes all right. It's got a little bit of an issue. It just you can see right here, it just doesn't want to go in all the way. But um, closes closes all right. Sounds not too bad either. Not bad. As far as fitment goes, I definitely think this is better. This is definitely a better fit. But let's check out the lighter. I got the um, the dual torch here. You can get a single torch or you can get the dual torch. And the thing I like about the Z Plus insert dual torch is that it actually angles the uh, the flames. So let's check it out. All right. Doesn't seem to want a light. Maybe it needs some more uh, butane. Hold on a second, guys. So I got some uh, Zycar butane right here. So let's actually fill this up. Wow, it does not want to fill. Alright guys, sorry about that. I actually I was trying to fill this um, behind camera because it was, it was having a hard time getting filled. Um, kept spraying out. I don't know why. Maybe something wrong with the nozzle. But I don't know why I had a hard time getting filled. But the reason that it kept going out was because the flame was actually set to uh, its lowest. So I adjusted this to um, have you know the, the biggest flame, and now it's it's pretty good. So pretty cool. Um, not really happy with the fact that it had a hard time fitting in the case, and it had a hard time filling. I don't know if anyone else has a you know better experience with this, but so far. As far as fitment and filling it up, not too happy with it. I tried filling up the, uh, the Thunderbird insert and it filled up no problem. No leaking, just absolutely great. Do it on camera. There you go, see? Absolutely no problem. Actually, let me adjust the uh, I'll adjust the flame on this one too. Give, put it to its highest level. There we go. Perfect. It's great. Definitely really happy with this Thunderbird insert. I think I'll be using this one the most. Um, and on a windy day, you know I'll. I'll take this one out, but I, I prefer lighting my cigars with the uh, the soft flame anyway. So definitely happy. Uh, this is the one I really wanted to work out the most. So very happy with the Thunderbird insert. Um, the Z Plus is okay. Um, my initial opinion, not too thrilled with it as far as fitment and filling it goes. Now the Thunderbird does make a torch style um, insert as well which I might check out but uh, I wanted to get the two different brands and, and check them out so I might get the, uh, the Thunderbird torch insert next and do a review on that but yeah um, these are the two inserts I'll definitely be using both of them and I hope this comparison helps you guys decide which one you want to get and yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Take care, guys.